Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow, today we're going to be talking about something that I usually don't even talk about it. Uh, so, something personal. Today I went um, to give blood and I had to do about 14 vials of blood that I had to give. And I'm sitting there, the person who is drawing the blood is like, first of all, letting me know that he's going to put it. He loved my veins. He puts the needle in and looks me in the face and says, well, it's going to be about 14 tubes. And I said, that's fine. So I'm sitting there enjoying it. He says, do you know what day is today? And I said, no. He says, today is grouchy day. It's National Grouch Day. I didn't even know that there is such a day. So, every feeling gets to have a day now. And I hope you are feeling so much better than feeling grouchy. And I thought, what is grouchy? So I asked him and I said, why do you mention it? He says, because we've had a few of our patients that came in and they were grouchy, especially drawing the blood. And I'm like, no, I love my body. She's wonderful. You can take care of it. And that's exactly how it was. Actually, I was there for like 15 minutes ago. You, you can't even see the mark. There is no tension in my body. First, I have no issues with needle. But if you do, did you know that hypnosis can be really powerful in getting you over the fear? Mm. So let's talk about this one behavior, feeling, or habit that some people have. It's a, frankly, it's a grouchy, it's like a feeling, it's a behavioral thing. So I checked. What is being grouchy? Being grouchy. First of all, why do we get grouchy? Number one, it's lack of sleep. If you haven't had enough sleep throughout the night, you may go through some sleep deprivation. And sleep deprivation is one of the ways that your brain doesn't get enough rest and uh, to regulate your emotions, to regulate your body. So you wake up or get up out of bed feeling grouchy. And it's, it's like a mood. It's irritable. That's what grouchy means to me. It's like there is this irritability, like I didn't have enough sleep. So the solution, take some time to sleep, even if it is to go to bed an hour before, shut all mechanism, uh, mechanic, uh, technical stuff, your phone, your TV and everything. Definitely do not listen to the 11 o'clock news before you go to bed. Um, the second thing that we get grouchy about is we're overwhelmed. We feel a lot of stress and stress levels can be high and your body is going through this fight and flight and it creates, it creates more uh, feeling overwhelmed. You're not able to catch up and you get grouchy. So that irritability of feeling overwhelmed and I don't have enough time in a day to do all the things that I'm supposed to do um, can be irritating, leading to feeling grouchy, right? So manage your stress. Yes, if you learn how to manage your stress, you it becomes easier, so much easier. Um, Take a pause, take a moment, breathe, and uh, then you continue on. And that three minute, three minute of giving yourself time out to do some deep breathing and everything can make a world of a difference in your day 
and feeling more settled in. Okay. One of the biggest reasons a lot of people get grouchy, I'm, you may be uh, one of those that, or you can relate to this, is hunger. Um, when you are working, you're on, going all day long and you haven't given yourself time to even have snack or to drink something nourishing and your body is feeling you haven't fed me and that hunger or dehydration, even dehydration can do the same thing. So what happens is your blood sugar drops and you go into this dehydration um, and affects your mood and you become irritable and grouchy. So when I say irritable, a part of that is that IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. So your stomach starts churning where your stomach is the core life cycle and it's saying you are not nurturing me and I'm putting my hand on my tummy as I speak because this morning since yesterday at 6 p.m. I fasted until I went uh, to give blood. Hi Edna John, how are you? So when I gave blood 14 vials Plus, I had to do mammogram. It was like, I did it all in one day, right? So, uh, that this in itself does not stress me at all. But doing all that, I felt my body going through, like, depletion, right? So, what did I do? I had a breakfast meeting. The first thing I did, water with lemon my cup of um, tea, hot tea, and also protein, which is eggs and avocado. So I nourished my body with something so good that now my body feels good. And that's called nurturing the self. Instead of hydrating it, nurturing it. So another thing that can also, hi, Kunar Mokur. Another thing that it can affect is hormonal changes. Truly hormonal changes can create this irritable um, feeling and grouchiness in this, which is the hormonal fluctuation, especially in women uh, during menopause, during PMS, and or even sometimes pregnancy this happens um the mood changes and you want to isolate yourself or the smallest little thing affect you um i know they call it oh it's that time of the month yes it is the time of the month and without you realizing mood swings can come across irritable or grouchy um, sometimes it is up to you. You have full control how to manage it. And other times it's just, it happens. So bear with it and have some tools to change, um, balance your diet. You can do things that help you reduce your stress. Um, and definitely self-hypnosis can be one of them i also have an audio recording for those of you going through menopause and that internally consciously and subconsciously the body starts working in order to boost your immune system and also for those who are pregnant it works with your body and the baby and everything changing your mood also another thing that really affects our mood is going through cancer treatments um, can make you grouchy uh, of course uh, going through treatments radiation and everything here's another thing that i'm going to say most times it's unresolved issues emotional issues unresolved things from way past 
suppressing feelings uh, that you rather not deal with it and yet it stays there. It's like this computer thing, the programming, that it's in the programming and it's archived, but it has not been deleted, right? So frustration, sadness, triggers, those are all things that can resurface without you realizing it. And the next thing you know, you've got this, you go into this grouchy, irritable mood without knowing because if it is unresolved and it's got this boomerang happening, you have no control. It just keeps resurfacing. So what do we do? Acknowledge and express your emotions. Um, when you feel irritable, take three minutes and just acknowledge the same way as I acknowledged my body and I said, you're doing a great job. It's okay. You're wonderful. And my God, just loving it, right? So when you feel something and you feel grouchiness and someone is reacting to your actions, that's the time for you to take a moment of pause. And even if it is not isolating yourself, but taking one minute of me time. I've been talking about me time a lot. So, and that's where you come. Number six, environmental changes. Things that happen, of course, as always, they don't happen to you, they happen for you, but environmental changes like loud noises, um, interruptions, that when you are reading or doing Facebook Live or someone opens the door, they don't know you're in the middle of something and if you're at home without you knowing, someone opens the door and walks in either to your bedroom or to your uh, bathroom, it's like it disrupts. That disruption, the emotional disruption can affect and it starts like a rippling effect, bringing up again things that make you grouchy or irritable. So what do we do? Treat the underlying pain. Uh, you may not know about it, but that's the time to connect. So all that is because what I just came and started with. I can really be grouchy if there is uh, physical discomfort or pain in your, my body and I can't get release from my pain. That's a physical, literally, it's not something emotional, it's not something mental, environmental or anything. It's something physically that you feel at that moment and can create uh, irritability, which is like chronic pain that travels all over your body and you just, no one can pinpoint, even doctors don't know. Another word for that can be psychosomatic, yet you feel it. You feel it physically, okay? And it affects your daily uh, functions and can make you grouchy and irritable. Um, it can even be headaches. By the way, for those who are going through, if you or someone you know that it's going through extreme chronic headaches and migraine headaches, I know of someone who's got the solutions for that. And in one treatment, it can go away. One treatment, that's right. So, and it is a professional MD doctor and that has come up with this tool um, that it's like, not miraculous, but it's a tool, it's a technique that in one session, migraine headaches of years and years can go away. Another thing I learned by speaking to him and learning, because I love to learn why there's causes, there's things that happen so I can educate and share with you, my community. He said, most times, we get grouchy because we're not understanding where pain comes from. 
right? And for those who are blind or uh, practically into the blindness, do not experience um, migraine headaches. So the eyes of what we see, how we project, and this environmental effect and how we see things about life and perceive things has a direct correlation to what happens in our mind, in our brain, and how we reflect it back, which also can create grouchiness and irritability when we have headaches. So get in touch with me about that as well. And I can literally say the last thing is negative, negative thought patterns, negative words, negative self-talk. Those are all what you say, what you do, how you behave in life and how others see you, especially when you look in the mirror and the things that you say, even silently, guess who hears it? You do. You hear it first right? So you don't even have to project it or express it because automatically it's right here. What you say, you hear it first before anyone else. As a matter of fact, that internal dialogue, every cell, every molecule, every nerve, every essence of you comes to learn it and hear it. So I ask you to be kinder to yourself. And the kinder you are, the grateful you are, the more loving you are, the less grouchiness and irritability will live inside your body. To sum it up, number one, identify the triggers. Practice mindfulness and breathing. And then you don't even have to do this, you can do this. And if you do that seven times, believe it or not, it calms your body and relaxes you. So reframing your thought process and being kinder, prioritizing your self-care, giving yourself, yourself that moment of me time, three minutes time out, when you feel irritable, when you feel grouchy, right? And uh, express and communicate your needs. If you need something, instead of thinking, oh, you ought to know what I need, no. Not everyone can read your mind. Not everyone. Some may. Can you read everyone's mind? No, we can't. So we expect people to know how we feel, what we need, and yet sometimes, what is it that they say? Please chew it and then give it to me, that means uh, break it down, share with me, tell me, express your needs. And there is nothing wrong. It's like, it's okay to cry. It's okay to share uh, what your needs are. It's not a weakness, it's self-love. And I'm sure there's more people who rather take care of you than you think, and stand by you, sit by you, even if in silence. And that's what I do with my clients. Sometimes they come here and they just need few moments before they start speaking. You know, that few moments, it's finding their own self space in a place of safety. 
that place of safety, if it is not within you or the place that you are at, can also create irritable, irritable discomfort, yes, irritability. You may be grouchy without realizing it because you're walking on eggshells. Um, gratitude, practice gratitude, be grateful to the roof over your head. Hopefully you have it. And um, that small little thing that you nurture your body. After me treating myself with eggs, protein, and avocado, and warm cup of coffee, and I, can, I come here and I have my glass of water in my favorite glass. See, I don't, I have the water bottle, but to me it's drinking from this is not as nourishing and loving and fun as if I were to drink from here. So I pour that water in here and I drink it here because to me, this is treating me much nicer and I love it. It's those small little things that you do for yourself um, that makes a world of a difference. Gradual Marks was not grouchy. And most comedians delve into their pain to heal through comedy and laughter and sharing. So from me to you, the way we evoke things in life is to acknowledge it so that we can embrace the reality right here, right now, in order for us to evolve. And that's my, the Bubari 3E method. That's how I work. So if there's anyone I can be of assistance to, if you know of someone that when they're feeling grouchy or irritable, raise a glass, show a kindness, give them something to put a smile on them, on their face, and the same goes with you. I hope today's tools and techniques were beneficial to you, and I look forward to seeing you next week. And until then, God bless you, and may the universal light surround you always. Hello, Bridget. It's so good to see you as well. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.